So I've got a pretty cool product here today. This is the Steel Series 7G. This is their premium keyboard, and it is for pro gaming. Yes, you guessed it. Excellent. So this is a no-click mechanical gaming keyboard. That means it uses all mechanical switches, but it doesn't use the ones that, that have like a springy, clicky sound to them when you click them. So it should be, in theory, not quite as loud as something like an IBM Model M. But I mean, it's not going to be as quiet as a membrane keyboard, but you get that tactical feedback off it that you do not get off a lower quality keyboard. Wow, that was really long and run out. Okay, 18K gold-plated connectors for extremely low latency. I'm not sure how that affects the latency, but they do say gaming grade durability, 50 million keystrokes, gold plated connectors will affect the durability. Gold is not used on connectors because it's a particularly good conductor. It's used because it is a malleable soft metal, so it is an extremely durable conductor wherever there are moving parts. WASD, etc, etc, etc. This supports the use of all keys simultaneously. That is a very cool feature. Very few other keyboards on the market support a feature like that. Okay, removable super steady hand rest, uh, durable metal inner chassis, used and endorsed by the world's best esports players, Steel Series media controls, and a two meter braided cord. Okay, so at the back we're gonna see a whole bunch of uh, gaming associations that this is associated with, and then we are going to open, did you look at this? You're supposed to look at the gaming associations. Okay, and then after that we will open the box. So I get my knife here, gonna cut my seal. Okay, there we go. So let's get this out. I love Steel Series products to be I'm gonna give away my personal bias here. Almost everything they make I really, really like. So I'm fully expecting to like this keyboard if I can ever get it open. See they tricked me. You have to actually get rid of this seal in addition to the seal on the other side in order to get the keyboard to slide out. There we go. I wasn't. See, it's a good thing we have these instructional videos on how to open the box of the product because then how would you get this open? You, you wouldn't be able to. It'd be very challenging. Okay, so I'm going to just move and we're going to sort of focus on the keyboard here because it's so big that it's hard to uh, fit both me and the keyboard in the frame here. So let's take uh, apart the box. I love black boxes too. Presentation, very nice. I give it a B plus. I've seen better, but... It gets the point across. Here is what you paid the big bucks for. Because uh, this is a very expensive keyboard. So here, I'm just going to take this out and let's have a look at what it comes with in terms of accessories and add-ons. So inside here you will find a little baggie and it is full of a PS2 to USB adapter. Now I believe the anti-ghosting feature only works if you plug it in by PS2, but do not quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. Okay, and then we have a Steel Series case badge sticker. Okay, so you can stick that on your case. Then we have a Steel Series professional gaming gear catalog that shows you a bunch of their other stuff, which is also really good. Okay, and then we have the 7G. So this appears to be some kind of user's manual, professional gaming keyboard. Oh, wow, this is oh, this is the best diagram ever. Okay, so can you can you see can you read this? 1. Professional gaming keyboard. 2. Hand rest. Bam! Just in case you could not figure that out, that is how it works. Okay, so SK Spawn, one of the foremost Counter Strike players in the world, uh, helped with the development of the Steel Series 7G. He has won more than a dozen major international grand sum. He uses the following keyboard setup when playing. His setup is optimized for speed and accessibility. Maybe you will find it helpful. These guys take their professional gaming very, very seriously. And it comes down to, yeah, even that, they'll give you tips on how to configure their product just like the professional gamers in the world use it. Okay, so let's, here's the keyboard itself. We got our two meter braided cord here, which is a very nice cord. I wouldn't normally, I wouldn't normally comment on the quality of a cord, but check that out. Okay, well, if I can ever get it untwist tied, then I'd be able to show you. Oh, we got one more here. Really sorry about that. So this includes all of the cables that need to be plugged into this keyboard in one little convenient cord, and then it goes around, see, how, look how long this is, okay? So it goes around to the back of your computer in another room, I guess, and then it has all of the connectors that you need. So here's your PS2. You'll plug a USB to PS2 adapter into that if you wanna use the keyboard by USB, which works just fine. There's your uh, mic, 
there's your speakers because you have pass-throughs in the back of the keyboard so you can actually plug your headset directly into the back of the keyboard right there rather than plugging them in around into the back of the computer. It allows you to use a much shorter cord if you also have a SteelSeries headset. And then you've got another USB port. This is for the USB hub. Okay, these are actually labeled. See, this is keyboard. Can you, can you read that? Uh, it's okay. It says keyboard and this says hub so that you don't get confused because PS2 is not for a hub. Okay, so then there's the keyboard itself. Now I'm gonna get the camera a little bit close so that it can actually hear me more than see this. So you can hear that these keys, while not completely quiet, are much quieter than a traditional mechanical keyboard with the, uh, with the spring sort of sound in it. Okay, so you've got a couple different features here. First of all, this Windows key, gone. This is now the SteelSeries key. This is used for any of the functionality up here. So if you want to mute the volume, decrease it, increase it, play back forward, that's used for all of that. You do still have a Windows key over on this side. They have done nothing goofy with the layout as far as standard layouts go. The one thing I personally don't like, and a lot of people do like this, is the shortened backspace. I have very small hands, and for me to actually reach that backspace while keeping, it's not gonna happen. So I like a backspace that's right here, but that's a personal gripe. These light up bright white. They're very, very, very nice to look at. It has a full number pad, all that good stuff. Um, this, this looks incredibly stupid. I'll be the first person to tell you that, but I actually already have one of these keyboards. I'm just unboxing a new one so that I can unbox it for you. I love this keyboard, and the reason I love it has very little to do with the keyboard. It's a great keyboard, but I'm not that fussy about them. This is it, because this is the most comfortable wrist rest I have ever encountered on a keyboard. It really supports you, unlike some of the goofy, goofy wrist rests that I've seen that are shaped or fashionable or whatever. This takes functionality and just drives that point all the way to the finish line because it is functional and comfortable. So with that sort of gushing out of the way, thank you for checking. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Here's the USB hub. It's a USB 1.1 hub, so you're not really going to want to use like any high speed USB flash drives or anything like that, but it'll work just fine for a mouse and whatever else you need that's a, that's a low power and low bandwidth device. So, and there's your built in mic and headphone ports. It has little rubberized grips on the bottom as well. And one of the things they did mention is the metal frame inside. So you can see there's actually very little flex to this keyboard and it's got, a, oh, the box fell. It's got, it's got a lot of heft to it as well. It's very durable feeling. It's the kind of thing that if you like rage and you throw it down, it would be just fine. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the SteelSeries 7G.